Hi, we're here with Bill Gattle, a Senior Vice President at Harris Corporation. Bill, nice to meet you. Good to meet you as well. Thank you. Uh, I understand Harris Corporation has been in the space industry since uh, it even existed, almost 50 years, is that almost, correct? Almost 50 years. We've been on every space flight, basically, on, for NASA. We were on all the manned missions, and we've been also involved in the commercial industry as well as the intelligence community, as well as DoD. And I know you, your roots came from NASA and defense in, in the space industry. I know the company is well over 100 years old. That it is. Which is amazing to me how you can transform. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing currently in the commercial industry of space? Sure. Space has been a very um, transforming industry over the last few years. If you think about where it used to be, everybody used to call it rocket science from right. day one. <laughs> then you got to a point where the commercial guys came on in the late 90s, and if you look around these conferences, you can see those commercial guys, the commercial operators are here. We're now in the next formation of that uh, transformation, which is basically you're seeing an affordability and basically doing things more innovatively in the marketplace. And so Harris is leading that particular effort by looking at different business models, as well as trying to find ways to be more reconfigurable and faster to market. And one of the, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just gonna ask you, so, are, is Harris in, involved in the space industry uh, in both the government and private side? Yes, so we do both the government and the commercial side. What we're seeing is a merger of those. We're seeing a blending of those. So we're bringing commercial models to the government side, and that's allowing us to basically transform how the government buys. So we're not just buying and bringing ideas that would be a request for proposal kind of ideas that you traditionally get in the government. We're bringing in them opportunity creation of doing the model a little differently. And are you finding the government uh, jobs are becoming more efficient as a result of your efforts? Um, to a certain degree, yes. They're, they still have constraints in terms of how they buy. But what we're seeing is more of a government-private partnership. So one of the things we've done recently is we are trying to transform global air traffic by having a partnership between Navigation Canada, the FAA, and the commercial sector and trying to create a global aircraft monitoring system. So we don't need to be nervous next time we come to one of these conferences knowing that you're behind it. Uh, yeah, we, <laughs> it is. And it, if you think about it, every time you go over the ocean, um, aircraft is not tracked anymore. You get inside the radar. We're going to transform that so aircraft can be basically tracked globally anywhere they are. And also it, it helps them with fuel costs so they can fly more optimal routes. I, I really appreciate it. And I have one last question okay. for you. Can you tell me where you see uh, Harris's contribution to the space industry in the next 10 years? I think what we're seeing is we are going to try to be a thought leader in how you can come to market faster, be more responsive to what's out there in the needs, and be more affordable and create business cases that basically allow the government to use more commercial models. Well, based on the history of your company, I'm positive you'll succeed. Thank you well, so thank much. Thank you very much. Thanks for the All right, guys.